you're having a great day because we're really excited to be sharing with you our Final Cut Pro 10 basic video editing tutorial series. We have divided the lessons into six separate segments. The style we use to teach you with is based on the workflow of a professional video editor. I believe this is the fastest way to get you confidently editing with Final Cut Pro 10. These lessons are selectable based on your level. You can go right ahead and select a lesson that interests you. Here they are, parts 1 through 6. Get your coffee ready because we'll now begin with our first lesson. Part 1. Getting started and importing clips. Let's look at an essential component of video editing. Let's look at hard disk. We have a hard disk here to store all our video files and all our music, our pictures, they all go in here. Now I need to format this to be used with Final Cut Pro 10. So what I do is I'll need to look for disk utility. I'll go to my spotlight here. I'll type in disk utility. Disk utility helps us to format hard disk. So I will click on the hard disk I want to format. I'll go to my tab over here and select erase. Okay, format. The older versions of Final Cut Pro 10, I was not able to use Windows NT file system. I could do that now, but let's keep the Mac happy by selecting Mac OS Extended Journal. This is the best. So let's click on Erase. Make sure you're formatting the right hard disk. As it is formatting, let me tell you that uh, you could use a USB 2, a faster USB 3 hard disk, or the best of all, a Thunderbolt hard disk. Those are all good. Okay, once the formatting is done, then I will start to rename my hard disk. I can close this right now. All right, let's call this external hard disk. Okay, now we're ready to begin Final Cut Pro 10. Let's go and launch it over here. I have it on my dock. The latest version is Final Cut Pro 10.1.2. It is the most efficient so far. Okay, now let's have a look at the interface um, I won't introduce all of them to you all at once. I will begin introducing the interface to you as we go along because I believe that is the fastest way we can learn Final Cut Pro. Now the first thing you need to do when Final Cut Pro is open is to go to your libraries list over here and create a new library. Over here I've got a previous library open but I'd like to create a new one for you because I want to save it into my new hard disk which is called external hard disk that you saw just now. Okay, so let me call this my first library. Make sure I saved it into my external hard disk and click save. I can close the other one, which I don't need right now. So I'll just close the old library. Okay, so we've got your first library here, which stores all your files. And what about this? This is called an event. An event is basically a folder to store all your stuff and it is organized by dates. But you could always rename this. So right now I'll leave it as my date first or I could choose to rename this. Let's call this Arial Shots because we're going to uh, import a lot of aerial shots, aerial footage that was shot with a drone and a GoPro. Okay, this is your huge arrow here which says import media. And this is your clip browser. As the first clip comes in, this arrow will disappear, but it is always found here. So I will click import media. Okay, so I've got all my hard disk, all my storage devices over here. Now I will insert a SD card into the computer. And let's see what happens. You can insert an SD card, you don't have to connect your camera. So this is an SD card. And I've got three video clips in my browser here. I'll have a look at them. Okay, now this is a very cool thing about Final Cut Pro 10. Um, 
I can mouse over, which means I just place my mouse pointer above any of this footage, and I can actually just scroll, rub across it, and I can see my video being played. I can use the play button here, I can click on it. Rolling. There you go, or I can just mouse over. So I will select, hold down my shift key, I will select all my clips over here, and I can import selected. So I'm going to import everything. I'm going to add them to my aerial shots. I have only got um, one event open up or one folder open up, so I just store them here. I need to copy to library because I need to copy the video footage out from the SD card into my external hard disk. So I will click on import, but you don't have to concern yourself with the rest because we will come back to that later. You can do all of this later once you've imported your clips. So I'll click on import. Okay, so the clips are being copied from my SD card into my external hard disk. Look at these little icons at the bottom here. These icons shows that Final Cut Pro is copying the footage. So we'll just have to wait until Final Cut Pro is done with that. So I will have to end this tutorial right now and do join us in the next part of our basic Final Cut Pro video editing. I'll see you then.